Hi guys, welcome back to Mr Mechanical. Um, so I've mentioned in the previous videos that I've been waiting for a Ooze Nest Workbee CNC router and it's arrived just last week. So this weekend I managed to get the uh, stand made for it, uh, which is what I'm going to sit it on. I'm going to sit it on almost, not quite upright, just off vertical. Um, so we'll see how it works in that setup. Um, and I did this because of limited space. If I didn't do this, it would take up more than half my shed. So we'll get on with it. We'll start building the work bee on here um, and I'll run you through the build process. Okay, so I was hoping to video every part of this assembly, but I thought the first step was a step too far. I'm sure you would have got bored. What I had to do is I had to push the bearings into uh, each of these wheels. That was the first step, and there's quite a few of them there. So I didn't want to bore you with that, I'm sure you understand how they go together. There's a bearing pushed in each side. And there's just a little shim like a washer between the two bearings in the middle. All the instructions for this build are online. Um, they're at learn.oosnest.co.uk. Um, there isn't a physical copy of the instructions supplied, so it's all online. So the next step is to assemble the Y plates, um, and we're going to put on. The other good thing is um, all the parts are in labelled bags so there's no doubt over whether you're using the right part or not and they use the exact name of the part on the bag in the instructions so you can't go wrong. So um, I've got a sheet here just off screen um, and it's a picture of all the plates um, that are in this box and it tells you which are which. So we're going for the Y plate which is this big square one in the middle. So there it is, there's the Y plate. We want some low profile M8 uh, M5 25 mil long and we want some M5 nylock nuts I'm just going through a box here yeah, each each sort of collection of parts is boxed up as well separately like I'll, sh I'll show a video, I'll put a video in um, showing all the boxes uh, how it arrived. So these are the uh, Acme nuts going on for the drive screw. Okay, so the next thing it tells you to do in the instructions is to um, put the Acme screw through the two nuts. Um, I'm guessing that's just so you can align them with each other. So with that uh, lead screw in, I'm just going to tighten these up. Okay, so the next thing is to start assembling the 
wheels for the V grooves in the aluminium extrusion um, onto this Y plate. So we've got a M5 by 60 low profile bolt onto there, I've then got a eccentric spacer. Uh, we then want a precision shim. A solid V wheel. Got an aluminium spacer. Another solid V wheel. Precision shim. A another eccentric spacer. Next, we want the Y plate inner on top. Put that on there. We then want another precision shim. And then a nylock nut. So I'm now going to do that with the rest of them. And I'll bring you back once I've got all of them done. So I've got. Uh, got the wheels fitted in the four corners of that Y axis plate and got the Acme lead screw through the middle on the Acme nuts so I'm guessing the instructions are going to tell me to do the same again for the next plate so I'll get that done and I'll bring you back so I've got the two Y plates complete now with the nuts on there they've got the Acme lead screws running through the middle of them and I've put them on the C channel just to set up the wheels uh, for the right spacing so they're about done. Next thing to do I think is to put the is to put the um, stepper motors on this plate so we'll do that next. So the next thing to do is to put the NEMA 23 motor on. It's going to fix in this location here with the wire towards this hole in the back and there's threaded holes in this plate for this and then we've got some 40mm uh, aluminium spacers that's the motor on there now. So now we're on to the Z plate assembly. Um, so I'm guessing this is what the motor, the, the spindle will mount to. It'll travel up and down. So there's wheels put on this. So I'll do that and then I'll bring you back um, show you anything um, exciting or different to what I've done already. So next thing I'm going to do is just going to put on the, the um, Acme nut uh, for the Z axis. So that goes into the middle set of holes in this plate. Okay, so that's the uh, Acme nut uh, on there now. So I'd say the next thing to do is to put the Acme nuts on the X axis plate, that's the Z axis. Here is the X axis. So we'll do that now. So next thing to do now 
on this plate is to assemble the wheels for the x-axis um, again it's a task you've seen before so I'll bring you back uh, after that's done so this is the last time I need to do this so I thought I'd just show you the process so inside here there are some eccentric nuts um, and all they do is they crank round on like a cam uh, these wheels before putting this channel in uh, all I do is I turn them so that they're fully opened now that channel's in it's just case of tightening those down and then I just slide the channel back and forward to make sure all the wheels are turning it's not too tight So the next thing to do now is to fix this onto here, there's tap holes in that plate. So this is fixed on just with a uh, M5 cap head screw and a serrated locking washer. So we now have the Z extrusion one here so we're going to slide this on So next thing I'm going to do is put this uh, Acme thread in the bottom of here but as I fit it in there's a bearing that needs slid over the Acme thread so I'm going to do that. So there's a, a lock collar to go over that thread as well. So what I'm doing now, the screw is through the nut, um, now it's through, I'm just adding another locking collar. So just putting another bearing over that screw as well. So that thread is now right through there and it's now inside the collar on the NEMA motor. Okay so now we're into unknown territory because we've now got to start assembling the full uh, machine on my makeshift trestle or easel. I've got the two Y axis plates that you saw me put together. I've um, got the other one this side with the NEMA stepper motor on. Um, now I need to put the gantry together. Um, the first part to go in is this 20 by 40 aluminium extrusion. So I'll get that fitted.
This part that I've put in now that spans across on the gantry is probably just to um, carry the cable chain, the energy chain. Um, I'll have to think about how that's going to work because gravity is obviously going to want to pull the chain this way. Might be that I need to make some sort of guide to keep it just on that top side. Okay, so that's uh, pulled it together quite nicely. So I'm guessing the next thing to do is put the Y axis extrusion in. Thank <laughs> you. 